I know you don't want to talk about the MVP award too much, but it was just two years ago when we were talking and it came up for the first time. How surprised were you that it happened so quickly after we first mentioned it? Ah, man, actually, let's start with this. Like, I'm surprised with uh, my whole career. Uh, what I tell my family every time is that, you know, everybody throws uh, their comments out there and what they believe. And uh, they always ask me, Jan, does it bother you? Like, it doesn't bother me. Why does it bother you? You're like one of the most comp competitive guys. You always want to win. You always want to be the best. Why does it bother you? I'm like, because I, I, I ain't supposed to be here. Like when I came to the league, I was just trying to play. I was just trying to make the team. I was just trying to not be sent down to the G League. And five years later, I'm in the MVP conversation. Or I'm um, in the conversation that I can win the championship. Like, I didn't supposed to be in this situation. I know that I worked really extremely hard to be here, but I never thought I'm going to be here. So I'm just happy. I'm just, that's what people don't realize. I'm just happy that I'm here. I'm just happy that, you know, all this uh, has gone. Like, uh, my career has gone so nice and everything has come, come so fast. But um, when we had the conversation, you know, in, in the back of my head, um, that I said that I might, you know, I might win the MVP. I said that, I, be, I definitely believe that. Uh, I thought that was a thing that's gonna make me be better, keep me accountable to always show, uh, come out in every game and play, you know, my best and help my team win. And, uh, you know, sometimes you talk things and you talk it into existence and it happens. The reason I ask is because when Steph Curry was 24, he was still three years away from his first MVP. So it has happened very quickly for you. Another question, have you thought at all, do you realize that when you held the MVP trophy, essentially you have become a Hall of Fame basketball player? Every player who has won the MVP is in the Hall of Fame when they became eligible. I never thought about that. I never thought about that. Uh, obviously, uh, it's one of my goals to remember when I retired to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, and I work you know, hard every day and I'm going to continue working hard. But I never thought about every MVP goes into the Hall of Fame. They have so far. They have so far. Man, uh, Jim, all I can tell you is that I'm going to, you know, keep working hard. Um, and even when I, when I hold the MVP, I hold it in my hand, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just thinking about, man, like, you know, I did it. And I didn't just do it for me. I did it for my, you know, teammate. I did it for my family. I did it for, you know, my coach that believed in me and, um, you know, gave me the ball and let me be stubborn sometimes and let me break off plays. They just, you know, let me be me and let me come and work out in a lockout, lockout day that uh, nobody's allowed in the gym. And, you know, I did it for the city of Milwaukee that, you know, love my family and love me from the first day. They never made me feel like I didn't belong here. That's the people I was thinking about. I wasn't thinking about, I'm the MVP, I'm the 34th guy that I ever done it. And I was thinking about my dad and I was just, since, since I started playing basketball, every time I step on the floor, I step on the floor for somebody else. When I work out, I work out for me. But when I go out there, it's not for me, it's for the people I represent. It's for my family, it's for the people that believe in me, it's for my teammates, it's for the people in Milwaukee. And uh, that's one thing that motivated me my whole life. And I love it. I love it, that always keeps me, because I never want to feel like I let people down. And that's what may push me, pushes me forward and have made me great so far. How important would it be if you could win the Defensive Player of the Year award? So I was close last year. Uh, you know, obviously uh, Rudy Gobert had an amazing year and he definitely deserved the award. I want to be one of the best defensive players in the league. I want to be the best defensive player of the league and uh, that's definitely one of my goals. Uh, and, you know, Coach Bud believes that I can do it. So I'm not, I'm not trying to let anybody down. I'm just going to go out there and, you know, 
defend you know in the best of my ability and uh, help my team get stops but yeah that's something that I feel like I'm capable that I can do it so I hope in uh, you know in my career I can get it done one of the things I've learned this summer is good things happen when we do the next right thing how have you learned to do the next right thing and what is the next right thing for you in your life now the next right thing for me is always get better you know take it day by day uh, and always try to be in the moment uh, i feel like you know once you start thinking about the future and thinking about championship and all that obviously we have goals in our head but that makes you nervous that uh, gives you anxiety for no reason and uh, always in my head and the reason that I've been able to, uh, you know, play in a higher level is that I'm always in the present. I always want to be better. Even when I fail, I fail and I learn and I become better. So I can't lose in life, you know. Um, and that's one thing that I've been doing since day one. And uh, I think that's the ne next right thing for me.